All right, we are back with local movie podcast hosts and our friends, The Cinema Guy. Yeah, as podcasters, of course, you, you, you guys do all kind of different things. You're reviewing movies, but today, you got something a little different planned for okay. us. This is fun. <laughs> so, like so describe, describe the game. Yeah, we're about so to we play. like to play games in our podcast, especially movie games. And this is one we come up with a while ago. And we do every now and then where mm. we find movies, usually movies that uh, we like or know about. But or with the theme. We of try the to podcast. see if you can guess uh, a one-star review that someone was oh angrily gosh. giving it. We'll <laughs> read the review and then you have to guess the movie. Okay. Uh, so we have a couple for you. Okay. To see if you guys can guess. <laughs> so these are movies that might. Not be generally hated, but we're hated yes. by these people. We're hated by, these, by people. these people. Okay. It's generally funnier I think when everyone actually loves life. Most, uh, well, two of them at least are not generally hated, but okay. this, these people. Uh, so, anyways, okay. this one, uh, the title was Harsh Language is Heard in Every Scene. Uh, <laughs> that could be every this, movie I love. This 80s sci fi would have been perfect if the tacky swearing didn't exist. I despise strong language in films, strong songs, and TV shows, which is why I regularly don't watch them. <laughs> I've only seen it one and a half times in my life for those reasons. Uh, it would be a lot more times if it didn't blurt out obscene words in every scene. It's so inappropriate. What's wrong with these writers? I can tell they don't care about what they put in those scripts. Sci-fi 80s, sci 80s with, with cursing. cursing. So or, what, or was oh, it one you're going to be stunned by this one. Or was it one of those situations where they curse like once, or it's like they say Lean more that way. Okay. <laughs> what? I mean, like. I mean, is it like Star Wars or something? This person no. was angry about yeah. that. Uh, One 80s, out of ten. 80s. Uh, 80s Alien? Sci fi. Um, Think a little more benign. Guess. That's a better guess. Think a little more kid friendly. Kid friendly sci fi? I can't. I can't. Uh, 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 last Starfighter. Good, good the, guess. The, but the, 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 what is that one? It starts with B. Battlestar. No, that was uh, a TV show in the 80s, not a movie. Uh, we're doing terrible ready? so far. Yeah, tell me. Uh, Back to the Future. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm sorry. This what? person was angry about Back to the Future. I mean, One star. Language, is there? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, they, they, they. I was trying to think. Particularly when Biff runs into the manure truck, he doesn't say manure. He says oh. something else. Um, but I, mean, I, I just love that it was every scene because it's clearly not in every scene. She was so angry wow. about this. Oh, I said she. She might be a he, but I'm assuming. For Back to the Future. Uh, like yeah. the, uh, I remember Goonies watching it with my children, being like, "Oh, there's a lot more in this than I remember," but wow. uh, I don't remember wow. thinking about Back to yeah. the Future. Back okay. to the Future is a, is a top five one? movie right. for me. Like it's a it's an yeah. all, it's an all time. That's why I heard that's like one of your faves. Yeah, it's, it's the best. Oh okay. Gosh. Wow. Okay. okay. All right. Are you ready for the next one? Yes. Yes. One out of ten. Awful. <laughs> the worst movie I've ever seen. I regret not leaving after 20 minutes. It's such a terrible movie. There's no story to it. It's not funny. It has nothing to do with Christmas. Will Ferrell is ugly. Elf? <laughs> the usually funny <laughs> Ferrell is very unfunny you know in this movie. Elf? It's just badly made. Elf. 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 <laughs> it's one of my favorite movies of all time. I like it. It just says Elf? Will Ferrell is ugly. ugly. <laughs> Part of the review. I mean, if, if this isn't the, the purest Ooh. form of or everybody's got their own their own thing. Because I love I, that it, says I it not, has nothing to do with Chris. And it says there's no story. I'm like, there's clearly there's a story. Clearly you may not like it. Story. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is a new okay. one. Oh, okay. Like new brand one. new. Okay. Uh, you can stream it right now. Oh, okay. Um, uh, number one, so bad it actually made me angry. Uh, <laughs> we love the original and thought we would give it a go. All the old characters are gone. There's a crocodile in it. <laughs> and when Connor McCloud enters the scene, it gets even worse with his ridiculous swagger and Irish accents. <laughs> Why try and mess with an absolute classic? I know what it is. Gyllenhaal Wild must have been paid a fortune to be associated with this garbage. Roadhouse. Yeah. Roadhouse. Yeah. Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Well, Roadhouse. Well, for one, oh. his name is Connor McGregor, not Connor McCloud. Okay, and that's, he is yeah. Irish. Because isn't Connor McCloud the Irish. Highlander? Uh, yes, Connor McLeod is the okay, that's a, yes. That's so so it funny. says they hate his Irish accent, but like, that's he how he is talks. Irish. He is Irish, that's his real point. Um, but have you seen it? I have not. I, Your husband watched it. Did you like it? You, you, it's okay, ridiculously not good, but I loved it. <laughs> but everybody who says that says it is almost intentional. Yeah. Oh, really? To be kind oh, of... Oh, yeah, yeah. It feels like Fast and the Furious. Like, they really like... And it's just... It's me and my 16-year-old watch it, and we were like laughing with them. Like, this is so... And we had a good time. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. We thought it was fun. Uh, if you're a purist to the original, I don't. I think it's actually a better story. Like I believe that he's an MMA fighter more than he's like the popular bouncer right. that everyone knows. <laughs> right. But but there, I, I think there's something very. You know, you so associate that movie with Swayze. That's what my oh, husband. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't think yeah. it would have mattered yeah. what they did. I, you know, I don't know that people were gonna 
necessarily like the comparison if they love the, right. the, right. the, the, right. the original. We only have one minute left, so okay, let's yeah. go to the last right. one. Okay. Last one. So, uh, this is early 2000s. Um, oh. Predictable chill word. I don't even know what that means. Uh, this movie is predictable from start to finish. The surfer who is out of his element in Cincinnati. Overall, this movie is there, been there, done that. This movie begs the question: How can life oh, revolve oh, around oh, hockey that that yeah, in uh, Cincinnati? Uh, oh God! Don't oh, remember any professional movie. hockey teams there. Avoided at all costs. I can't think of the name. I can't think of the name. No, because they they race down what they call Devil's Backbone. Yeah, it's not right, Devil's yes. Backbone. <laughs> <laughs> the the de- on there's the a giant mountain in Cincinnati. I can see the movie poster, but I can't think of what it's called. Not gleaming the cube, but yes, something. Is that it? No, no, no. That's skateboarding. This is wrong. Oh, what's it called? I can't think of the thing. When you I go can... into, you go up a hill, shooting up point. Airborne. Oh. Airborne. 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 That was okay. Uh, which I I they always have that poster hanging up at like this. Yeah. Uh, uh, when I moved to movies. Cincinnati, I'd only seen that movie. I'm from Virginia Beach, and yeah. I was like, everyone there must love hockey. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought it was like a. I thought that's what I was going. It's like it's a hockey town. Yeah, that's it's right. a hockey I guess town. I'm learn about hockey. We got Cyclones fans watch right now going. It is a hockey we town. We love our Cyclones. There we go. But yeah, I, I could show you where actual Devil's Backbone is. Oh, I, oh, I I've, drove, I've driven on it, but it's not. It, it is not downtown. Down. No, it is not a beautiful not like view from that. the river. I will tell you that. <laughs> Cinema guys, thanks for coming. Yeah, that was so much fun. fun. So fun. I loved it. So, so fun. Again. We will definitely do this again. Uh, before we let you go, just very quickly, I know you guys have some upcoming events, so break oh, yeah. those down yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah, what do you got? Oh, yeah. So um, we have the, at Kenwood Theater, on May 24th, we're going to do Dystopian Trivia and then a showing of Furiosa. Ooh, oh, fun. Nice. Yeah, nice. it would be very fun. And then <gasps> also we're doing the 40th anniversary of Never Ending Story right, on June 1st. I know, I yeah. want to sing so bad, but we're and not going to sing. And they'll both be like, at Kenwood Theater. That's one of the ones I thought with your first review that somebody didn't like. And I was like, is there cussing in Never Ending Story? I can't remember, but Anyway, uh, it'll be your chance movie. to go to the Kenwood Theater, too, because right. it's so yeah. nice. It is a nice theater. Yeah. We love the Kenwood Theater. still shook by that Back to the Future review. I just want to <laughs> put, that out, put that out there right now. We started out with a high. Yeah. There we go. All right, well, that was super fun. Hey, thank, thank you guys so much. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you. Cinema guys, check out their podcast. You can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe, and then you can get all the notifications.